first and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, the praises, the glory and the honours belong to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Mohab, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai. And who I reverence and honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very 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 few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days of the last days so lord willing this to be edifying we're going to flow with the spirit all right and um there's going to be a few lessons we want to do today this first one is going to be based on faith fear faith meekness fear faith meekness so you can say faith fear meekness all these things we're going to flow with this but i haven't got nothing written down so let's just flow and see what we can find let me start off first on fear of the lord that's the beginning of all things ecclesiastes 1 and 27 okay ecclesiastes 1 and 27 right check this out the fear of the lord you know what start at 11. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is honor. When you truly fear the Lord, Yahweh Shai, there's honor that comes with that. Okay. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory. There's a certain glory you have as well, a certain light, and the gladness and a crown of rejoice. And so there's, also, there's also a gladness. And crown of rejoicing so you fear the lord there's a certain gladness happiness you have why because you fear him there is no want to those that fear the lord right the fear of the lord maketh a merry heart who merry joyful heart joyful mind right and giveth joy and gladness and a long life. Joy. The more you fear the Lord Jehovah Shai, the more joy you have. The less you fear him, the less joy you're going to have. Right? Because that's how he uses the enemy to chastise us at times. When we're not fearing him, when we're not obedient to his word. Okay? That's what he wants us to be obedient. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha. And long life. So you want to fear your Habashai? You also give a long life. Whoso fear the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. And he shall find favour, even in the day of his death. Right? And you're going to have a reward. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So that's the start. That's the root of wisdom. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The beginning. The beginning. So you want wisdom. The first thing you should do is implement that fear. Even if even if you think it ain't where it should be, where it is right now. But you fear him. In all your ways, you fear you have a what he can do to you, what circumstances he can put you in. That's the beginning of wisdom. And it says Baba Kasha. And it was created with the faith in the rune. So what does it mean it was created with the faith in the rune? So the faith in the rune. They were going to be fair in Yahweh Shai. Faithful. They were created. They were born. They were created to fear him. Yeah. She have built an everlasting foundation. With men and she shall continue with their seeds. To fear the Lord is fullness of wisdom. And filleth men with her fruits. She filleth all their house with things desirable. And the garners with her increase. To fear the Lord is a crown of wisdom. It maketh peace and perfect health. So your health also gets what? Renewed. To flourish, both which are gifts of the Heavenly Father. And it enlargeth their rejoicing that loveth him. Right? Wisdom rain down skill and knowledge of understanding exalted them that honour and that hold her fast. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord. The root, the beginning, the foundation. And the branches thereof are long life. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. So when you fear Yahweh, you're able to drive away sins. 
all right? And where it is present, when it's there, it turneth away wrath. So there's certain things that will be removed in terms of sin, right? Wrath and so forth. Okay, so now we went to that Baba Kasha. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, now faith, because I don't want to prolong these lessons too long. Faith, 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 faith. Right? Examples of faith. Right? What is faith? Go to Hebrews. Okay. So we're going to go to Hebrews. 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hoped. So you're hoping for it. It's an expectation. What is hope? And when we say hope, oh, I hope so. Like, no, no, no. When you're hoping, that's an expectation of good. Right? You're hoping to be saved, right? Right? You're hoping to inherit that first go around, the first, what, thousand years resurrection. Right? That's a hope. Right? Ain't no blind hope. It's a hope and expectation for the evidence of things not seen. For, for by it the elders obtain a good report through faith. Right? Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed. So the elders they had a good report by the faith that they had. Right? Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the heavenly father. Put together. Right? So that things which are seen were not, not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto the heavenly Father a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness he was righteous, the heavenly Father testifying of his gifts. And by it he being dead yet speaketh, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because the heavenly Father hath translated him. For before his translation he had the testimony that he pleased the heavenly Father. Verse 6, but without faith it is impossible impossible to please him and we're still in terms of passover right the passover is still we're still in passover right so what does the lord jehovah Shai want the main thing that is faith right everything you're doing it has to be in faith because if it's not in faith it's in doubt and the lord he yes he doesn't like doubt too much with doubt and when you when you're fearing when you're not fearing him because that shows a lack of faith so we have to implement what fear the fear of the Lord, and faith and he that cometh to the heavenly father must believe that he is so if you're coming to your habasha you must believe that he is who the son of god and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him that's why i love this word diligently so we've got to diligently seek Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, who they even really call Jesus Christ. So that's who we got to seek. Him. And it says he's a rewarder of those that diligently. That means you're earnest. You have an earnest expectation. You're fast. You're quick. You really want to teach this word. You've got to seek him. No matter what way you do it, as long as you're seeking him. Diligently seek him. Seek him means to inquire find out inquire all right all these different things so we have to inquire of the lord you have a shy and that's how we're building that connection okay by faith noah being warned of the heavenly father of things not yet seen noah he was told to build the ark right and why was he told to build the ark because obviously he had faith of things that were going to come destruction or then he wouldn't have built that ark if Noah didn't have faith, right? Check this out. And it says, seen as yet, move with fear. Oh, hey, this is heavy. I love the way these people, move with fear. So that's what he was moved with. He was moved with the fear of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? Moved with fear. Okay. So that's how we want to be. We want to be moved with the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Noah was moved with that same fear, right? And that's what led him to build the ark. See, 
faith is a fear, it's supposed to motivate you. So let fear be your motivation. You fear the Lord, let that be your motivation. Right? And faith. Right? It's all right there, madam. The phone ain't facing here, it's facing me. You're more than welcome to walk past. I don't I don't own this <laughs> reservation here. I wish I did. You know, I need I do need some land. You know. But yeah, in the kingdom to come, we get our land. And it says, Baba Kesha, by faith, Noah, being warned of the heavenly father of things not yet seen, as yet moved with fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his house. So that ark was, what was it? It was a protection, it was a ship. And that ark is today Mount Arawak, which is Turkey. By the which he condemned the world and became hero of righteous, which is by faith. So Noah, he was a pillar of faith. And what does Noah mean? Noah means comfort. That's what Noah meant, comfort. So Noah was a comfort for the next generation, right? Of that time, of the era. Great faith, our forefathers had, they had great faith. And that's what we're supposed to inhabit, is faith. Okay. Let that George Michaelson. You gotta have faith, faith. Let me just a minute, let's see what else we got. Mm, hold on. Um. So we went to that, now we went to fear, faith, and meekness, humility, key. This is what I'm learning. And if you are of the elect, hopeful elect, the Lord's gonna make sure you're humble. Because we all get them times where you know, be a bit proud. Scripture says, knowledge puffeth up. So I wanna go to Ecclesiastes 3 and jump straight to, see how long have we got in this? Go to verse 17. My son, go on with meekness. So should I be beloved of him that is approved? Go on with meekness. What does meek mean? Another word for meek is humble, lowly. Not having a high estimation of yourself. Even if you are all that, you still don't have a high estimation of yourself. Right? When someone asks you something, they may ask you, are you good at this? You seem really good at that. You may say, I'm all right because you, ha you don't have a high... It doesn't mean you're insecure. But when you're good at something, you don't need to boast. Your actions will speak for you. My son, go on with thy biz go on go on with thy business in meekness. So shall I be beloved of him that is approved. Right? Approved. Right? The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Thou shalt find favour of the Lord. The greater thou art. So what does it mean? So you are somewhat great. The greater you are, the more you learn, the more wisdom. The more they humble thyself, the more humble you're supposed to be. Because not everybody has what you have. The Lord could have picked, the Habashai could have picked anyone, anyone. But he chose you. However, he chose you. Look how you were living. Look how we were living. And thou shalt find favour before the Lord, Habashai. Favour comes through humility, being humble. But in the day and age, nobody wants to be, well, I don't want to say nobody, most, they don't want to be humiliated. This is our humiliation, humiliation ritual, right? This is our humiliated ritual, right? Before honor comes humility. You've got to get the honor. Many are in a high place and of renown. You could be in a higher place, rarely known, but the mysteries are revealed unto the meek, and that's how you get more revealed unto you when you're meek, when you're not, you don't have a, you're not, you're not high-minded, you're not proud. That's how, that's who your house is dealing with, the lowly. For the power of the Lord, your house is great, and he is honoured of the lowly. Who? He's, see, he's honoured. He's on a, he looks upon the lowly and says, this is the individual that I could really use this individual because he's, he's, he's honourable with that lowly. Right? And I'm going to honour him and he's going to honour me. Right? So we went to that, Baba Kisha. And a few more scripts on the humble demi shut because I want to get onto my other lessons as well, Baba Kisha. Humble, meek. What did you have? Should I say in Matthew's? Go to is it Matthew's five? Let's go. 
This is Matthew 5. And 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So they're the ones that are going to be blessed on this side. Those that are meek, humble. We're going through that humiliation ritual right now. So those that are meek, they're going to inherit the earth. And meek doesn't mean you're weak. It, meek doesn't mean weak. It doesn't mean you're weak. It just means, again, you're more able to bow down and submit yourself. Because how could you submit yourself when you're proud? You're going to be doing, doing, doing the opposite. And this is so spiritual that I'm going to. Let's go to James, Baba Kishar. Go to James. Okay. Come on. I love doing these videos, man. It's building me up as well. Meekness, man. Humble yourself, the man. Humble yourself, man. And let Yahawashai use you for good. Okay. This is James now. Four and six. But he giveth more grace, mercy. Wherefore he saith, the heavenly Father visiteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. You want grace? You want a great period of getting right, favour, humble, but he giveth more grace unto the humble, right? Because they, they realise, well, I, there's certain things I need working on, I'm not, I haven't got it all together. Submit yourselves, right? right? Therefore, to the Heavenly Father, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So the more you're submitting yourself, which is a sign of obedience, the more the devil is going to flee from you. Submission is the key. You want the devil to ease up off you, you submit yourself. You don't want to do you submit yourself. Obedience, it's about obedience. There's other things I could be doing today, but every day it's about our obedience to Yahweh Shai. And it says, Baba Kishar, submit yourselves, therefore, unto the heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. Right? Resist the devil. So there's still resisting you got to do. Because the devil's trying to draw you out. And he will flee from you. Right? Draw nigh to the Heavenly Father. And he will draw nigh to you. So what I'm doing right now, I'm, this is me drawing nigh to Yahweh Shai. And he will draw nigh to us. Your time, time, dedication, discipline, all those things. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha. And he will flee from you. You sinners, purify your hearts and be double-minded. So with this, I want to shut off faith, fear, and meekness. To the next one, Shalom.